All right, so we just finished our integration between Business One and Amazon Echo, and I'm gonna demonstrate for you how does it works. We are we have basically two sets of scenarios. The first one is aimed on the analytical side of Business One, more targeted to a business manager where he or she can retrieve uh, report data right through Alexa. Uh, and the other one is based on the transactional side, more aimed on the consumer, that is the customer of our customers, uh, where he, he can retrieve, uh, place orders inside Business One uh, without the need of uh, interacting with a website or any, 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 inter any different interfaces, just by his voice. So uh, let's go and start. Uh, and here I have the business one, the regular business one with a, with a simple dashboard. So the first one, let's go for the analytical side. So if we see this dashboard right here in the bottom, uh, we have a top item list, all right? So we can ask her simply like that. So there it goes, Alexa, open B1. Hello, here is B1 assistant. Let me know what do you wish. Show me the numbers for electronics. Currently, our electronics sales are on $5,260,775. So that's one kind of uh, interaction, like one question, one answer. Uh, you can go more straightforward than that, so you can just say like this, Alexa, ask me one, how are the sales for PC? Currently, our PC sales are on $2,244,045. That's the, the, the first case, uh, the, the total amount of, of sales for an item group. So we can go a little bit more in details and having like a small conversation with Alexa. For Imagine, for example, that I have here my ear performance dashboard and I want to explore a little bit more the sales from last year. And I have here one advanced dashboard. So let's go just loading. And here I have my first quarter sales. Uh, of 2015 so let's go for one specific uh, for example this one computer parts so Alexa open B1 welcome to B1 assistant how can I help I need sales reports which item group do you want to know computer parts got it what quarter first quarter what year do you need last year the sales of computer parts for the first quarter of 2015 are thirty five thousand three hundred ninety eight point seven five dollars so this is the nice thing about uh, Amazon Echo and, and Alexa we can uh, program several kinds of interactions to, re to retrieve the same data I don't need always to say one specific command. I can say, give me sales reports, I need sales information, uh, diff diff uh, different kind of, uh, of actions, and she will trigger the same thing inside Business One. So uh, you just notice I didn't mention like 2015, I said last year, and we can interpret this as 2015. This is, is very nice. So uh, going a little bit more straightforward than that, saying like the year and the quarter in the same sentence, I can say, Alexa, open B1. Hi, I am your B1 assistant. How can I help you today? Show me the sales numbers. Which item group do you want to know? Electronics. Got it. What quarter? First quarter of 2015. The sales of electronics for the first quarter of 2015 are $4,650. So there you go. This one shot interaction for the year and the quarter. Okay, so uh, these are the, those are the, the scenarios for a business manager. So what about if you want to make transactions inside business one? And here is one thing that is very interesting. Uh, we are using here the patch level four of business one and with it, it came like uh, a, new, a new feature uh, based on pervasive analytics, uh, uh, pre sorry, predictive analytics. analytics. Uh, that is, uh, we can recommend uh, items based on a customer history and also recommend items for a specific sales based on the, on the items that are already there. So for example, if you are buying printer paper, for example, uh, it can recommend for you to buy a printer label or something that you bought, bought together in the past. Uh, very similar to those item recommendation systems we all know 
Uh, so let's go for the first thing. We're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna ask for a, a recommendation from Alexa, and based it on my purchase history with her, with uh, within Business One, she will recommend us uh, one specific item. So Alexa, open B1. Hello, here is B1 Assistant. Let me know what do you wish. What do you have for me? I think you will like keyboard comfort USB. Can I order you a pack? No. Perhaps you would like some rainbow printer 9.5 inkjet cartridge. Did I get it right? Yes. Your order number 1153 was placed successfully. The total amount of your purchase is $46.55. So we have one new order. Okay, uh, let's just refresh this dashboard. You're going to see that's. 134, I'm gonna to go to 135. There we go, and we have a new order, sales order, with my recommended item, in this case, a rainbow printer, all right, and also uh, the total amount, 46, that is right here, and we have a small comment saying that this info came from Echo, from, from, um, from Alexa. Uh, all right, so this was based. Those items were, were not randomly suggested. They were all based on an, uh, on on my purchase history uh, in business one. And the other thing we can also implement this uh, is not the item suggestion, but the item what we call item relate related. Uh, that is, if I'm buying a specific item, uh, it it, yeah, it can match the combination between. My 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 business partner code, my my customer code, and also the item I'm buying, and suggest another item related to this to this item I'm just buying. So, uh, that's the that will be the last interaction we will do with her, creating a sales order inside Business One, with a with a little bit more of details. She will try to find one recommended item based on that purchase I'm, I'm making. If she didn't find it, she will ask me for another item that I want to buy. Like, uh, do you need anything else? Or if she f really finds one one related item, she will suggest this this item to me. So let's go with her. Uh, Alexa, open B1. Alexa, open B1. Hello, here is B1 assistant. Let me know what do you wish. I need office supplies. Should I get you printer ink, paper, or maybe a USB drive? Printer ink. Okay, how many packs do you need? 12 packs. Can I get you also rainbow printer 9.5 inkjet cartridge? It goes great with printer ink. Sure, yes. Your order number 1154 was placed successfully. The total amount of your purchase is $824.60. So let's go again for business one. I will just refresh this dashboard once again, and we should have a new order. 136. There we go. And here's my new order from the web customer. Let's go right there. And we'll see. In this case, we have both items right now. So we have the ink pack, printer ink pack, right here, 12 packs as we we ordered, and also the rainbow printer that was suggested by the recommendation system. And once again, the total amount of this purchase and the final comment saying it was from Alexa. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed.